Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brett Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. We'll see the Dallas Mavericks taking on the Seattle Super Suns. Tip-off goes to Seattle. Here's Kemp, and it's Kemp slamming it down. And this is what leaders do. Peyton showing a willingness to get it to the open man. Pastor Powell. Off target at the rim. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition. And that helps get the rhythm going. Nice ball movement by Seattle. Pass to Peyton. On the wing, Johnson. On the wing, Peyton. To the middle. Here's Kemp. No good. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Well, Kevin George Carl gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. He's looking for his guys to put up a terrific performance tonight, especially at the defensive end. He said, we want to use our length and athleticism to protect the rim. Make it hard for shooters to get clean looks. This is the first meeting of the season between these two. Guys, we'll see how it comes out. Appreciate it, DA. They'll be trying to lock it down defensively. Guys, what do you think? If you want to avoid a run-and-gun type of situation, this is the approach you need to take. Well, slowing the pace is easier said than done. How will they go about it? He just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. Irving can't hit. Seattle has come out of the gates quickly. Four-point game. And the slam dunk by Johnson. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. You know, I didn't find a very good shot on that possession, but still able to get two points. Here's Kemp. Let's it go. And Kemp with the slam. The ultimate man child. Kemp, one of the most flamboyant finishers in our league. The kick out to Irving. Six on the shot clock. A three-pointer, no good. And so Peyton will bring it up for the Supersonics. Six-point lead. Pass to Kim. And it's Kemp slamming it down. Yeah, once he gets to the rim, it, it's light out. Kemp, just too much power and explosive. The kick out to Irving. Hits the three-point bomb. Irving's got five points so far. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And this is a guy, Sean Kemp. All the talent in the world could be a perennial double-double machine. Just a matter of staying focused. Two shots. And he makes both free throws. 158 left in the first quarter. Here's Irving. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. Seven points in the game. Kyrie making that look effortless. That shot is so well within his comfort zone. Back to Peyton. Pass to Askew. Now Kemp. Fires for three. And that one good from Askew. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. 
Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. Now here's Irving. He has seven. Out to the right wing. McGee with no one around. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Kemp with the bucket. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Mavericks trail by 10. Fifty-eight seconds left to play in the first quarter. Luka Doncic. Yep, it counts. Well, Luca has options all over the floor. He's a versatile shooter who can utilize the mid-range. Here's McMillan. No points in the game yet for him, and that one's good. Ask you. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Yeah, you wondered if they would take some time to find their A game. They did it at jump ball. They've been awesome tonight. And here's Doncic from the arc. No good on the shot. And as the Sonics taking it the other way. And stolen by Irving. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Irving's got nine. Just so few players have that kind of arsenal. When they get to the inside and have to finish, Kyrie Irving becomes elite. Here's McMillan to the paint. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Here's Askew. Another three for Seattle. Seven seconds left from the first quarter of the game. One second left. What a performance for Sean Kemp. He has been the story for the Seattle Supersonics. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Seattle. So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this one. Now getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. Shot clock at two. Outside Hardaway. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. Pass to Johnson. And Jaden Hardy is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Substitution for Mavericks. Luka Doncic. Back to Kemp. Inside. Out to Payton. It's Kemp on the wing. Five on the clock. Here's Shrimp. Here's Johnson. And he makes good on the way. Johnson's got the first basket of the second quarter for the Sox. When, when you're trying to claw your way back into a game, you cannot allow second chance opportunities. Yeah, those are tough. You get back into the game by working harder than the other team, not the other way around. They're just going to extend its lead. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, from the step back to his attacking Luka style, Doncic. some have compared Luka Doncic to the beer, James Harden. There are some similarities, Harden said. Being able to dictate and control the game like he does, he never lets anyone speed him up, and he gets what he wants. Back to you, Kevin. He always has. They're both pretty fun to watch. David, thank you. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. Now, here's Doncic. He has five. Back to Powell. And the dunk by Powell. 
It's the all-around game of Doncic. Not just a scorer, but a great dime dropper as well. Notices his open teammates quickly. First personal foul. Second team foul. Substance to Peyton. And they double up Peyton. Here is Shrimp. And here is Johnson. Six to shoot. Hawkins with it. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, just trying to anticipate Hawkins' next move there. The defender gets caught a little out of position. The Sonics have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. Wow. Well, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. Pass to Kleba. Back to Irving. And here is Kleba. Here's Irving. Nine points in the game so far. Set it up with the fake, but it's offline. Now Shrimp lets it go from deep. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. And Detlef is one of the best at filling it up from deep. Just possesses great height and that high release point. Down low. It's tipped. And now the Supersonics on the break. Peyton with the ball. And again, Seattle with the triple. Well, the first thought from the D there was to protect the rim. So good idea to take the three in transition. Here's Irving. Shot to stop the run. It's hauled in by the Sonics. Takes the three. No good from Schrempf. Mavericks trailed by 19. Peyton on the double team. On its way from Irving for two. Yes, it is. Or that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. And it takes a bit of pressure off Kyrie when someone else creates for him. Right wing. Nice ball movement by Seattle. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Irving drives in. Kyrie Irving. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. Well, Kyrie just has nasty grips on that basketball. Cuts through the defense that time. Shrimp. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. And again, it's Kyrie Irving. Irving's got 15. The only way he was getting to the hoop was to use the double clutch. Twenty-four seconds left in the first half. Here's Shrimp. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for Dallas. Down by 15. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Love the aggressive play right there from Kyrie when he gets into the paint. Determined to score, but for sure get contact. And now the Supersonics on the break. Pass to Hawkins. Outside, Perkins. He gets it up. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's Seattle. Sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. And so confident, even amongst the trees, Donchins is fantastic at forcing the issue close to the rim. Good on both. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Over in the corner, Kemp. Pass to McMillan. He's looking for Kemp and finds him. And it's Kemp with the jam. And this...
Why they keep going to Kim. They know what he's capable of on offense. Now, here's Green. The kick out to Irvin. Elbow shot is on the way. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Now, here's Peyton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Pass to Shrimp. Back to Kemp. They double team Kemp. Just four to shoot. And the officials call him for a three second violation. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. The kick out to Irving. Another three for Dallas. A consistent three-point shooter, a clutch three-point shooter. Kyrie has to be guarded out there at all times. To the inside. Johnson gets the bucket. Johnson's got six points. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through their high basketball IQ play. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Both teams will make substitutions. Here's Doncic. He has seven. Pass to Hardaway. Rebound by Wingate. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. And with good length and athleticism, Doncic not only gets to the rim, but boy, can he finish. Here's Kemp. Good D by Wood. It's Powell on the wing. Doncic outside. On the wing, Green. The drive by Doncic. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And how about the balance of Doncic on that possession? Amazing at just absorbing the contact and still with the strength to finish. Here's McMillan. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Kemp can't hit. Average trail by six. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. And Holiday has it in the corner. And now the Supersonics on the break. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Luka Doncic. And with his natural strength, defending Kemp on the interior is always a challenge. All the defense can do there was foul. Dallas making a switch here. And so Kent nails both of them. So it's the Mavericks now. Eight-point game. Doncic feeling it out. Rebound by McMillan. Hawkins with it. Driving inside. Right side, Kent. McGee with the block. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Pass to Holiday. Back to Doncic. Here's McGee. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. And the first time out of the game called for Seattle.
just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Al Payton, nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to McMillan. Here's Johnson. McGee with the block. To the paint. That one doesn't drop. And it's the Supersonics taking it the other way. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Now, here's Peyton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Personal foul. You know, we don't talk about defense a ton, especially with guards. But Gary Payton, he can change a game with his D. Dallas making a switch here. And he's good on the second. 44 seconds left here in the third quarter. Pass to McGee. And it's McGee with the jam. And those assist numbers have always been there for Kyrie spotting an open teammate that time. Nice shot by McMillan. You got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three point shooters in the league. Here's Irving. Good on the shot. Irving's got seven points for the quarter. And watch how this kind of scoring output for Kyrie Irving impacts the rest of his teammates. Everyone else starts to feel hot. That one falls. That's pretty unselfish there. He sees that there's a better shot on the perimeter and bang, just kicks it out. Here's Irving. A shot by Kleba. Wide open. From outside, off the mark. And so it's Seattle in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. Shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance. 43. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Here's Peyton. to Kemp. That's in. Coming off an assist from Peyton. Kemp's got 22. You have to love the approach Peyton takes to the game. And an exceptional passer who does a great job with distributing the basketball. Powell with the screen. Irving. Driving the lane. And they'll keep possession. Wood with the bucket. Sonics leading by eight. It's Kemp on the wing. Inside. And down it goes, jamming that one home. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. And with more passes like that, Wood can make things very hard. That'll round out his game. They double team Kemp. Oh, he jams it right over Christian Wood. Wow. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up the lead, and here we go. Maybe it is showtime. And the Mavericks call time here. send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hi, Kevin. Well, Jason Kidd going over the plan with his team for the last few minutes. He said, do you want this game? Don't tell me about it. Show me. 
and show your teammates. We've got to play better, and we've got to play harder if we're going to come back. Guys? Thank you, David. Just five on the clock. From deep, sinks the three-pointer. Kleba's got his first three points of the game. Uh, we all know how devastating Kyrie can be scoring the basketball, but very encouraging to see how he's trying to set up his teammates as a playmaker right here. Back to Kemp. Trying to find Johnson. He's got it now. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Time called here. The Sonics decide to talk it over. Six. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Here's Irving. Makes it off the glass. Irving's got 12 points here in the second half. Uh, and that was the right call. When, when you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but gets close. He's getting the ball. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, it just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Donchich with it. Now Peyton defending. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the foul against Seattle. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Supersonics? And they're playing beautiful basketball right now. Racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly. Just finding the open man. Their attacking of the offensive glass has also been a success story. All game long, they've been committed to finding those second chance opportunities. Pass to McMillan. Here is Shrimp. Offensive rebound. Kemp. And he dunks it right over JaVale McGee. Holy cow. And Kemp seems to relish contact on the way up. He just embraces all types of challenges. And the Mavericks making a change here. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. And now we've got the intentional foul. <laughs> yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Mavericks trail by eight. And they go to the intentional foul. The Supersonics making a switch here. Third team foul. Into the lineup for your Sonics. Now here's Doncic. From deep three-point range. Sinks it. What range from outside? Wow. Doncic has got five points now in the quarter. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luka Doncic. That's his third foul of the game. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. Out to Shreff. Here's Johnson. Great D that time from Powell. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. And Doncic throws it down. How about the poise from Doncic right there? He ups the ante when it's a critical possession here in the game. And it's Kemp with the jam. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. Back to Kemp. And then Kemp slams it in. And how about he takes on the defender head on and then throws down the two-handed. Nice. Straight power there. Straight power. Dallas moving the ball around. 
Here's Irving. It's hauled in by the Sonics. Nice effort anyway to change the shot and get around the defender. Maybe next time. Down low. Kim. And the layup is good. Now it's a seven-point Sonic lead. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. Back to Shrimp. Powell pulls it in. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Pass to Irving. And here is Peyton. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Man, it took forever for them to commit that foul. I don't know why they didn't do it right away. Those are precious seconds. It's the first that puts them up by five. them both and it's a six-point ball game well, that'll ice it right there not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation Dallas calls timeout they're down by six six seconds left in the fourth quarter guys your thoughts trying to keep hope alive but but I don't see them making a comeback yeah this is the classic too little too late the effort coming and not enough time for them to get back in. Back to Shrimp. So we see the Sonics get the win here. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends.